All right, the question. What do you do when you're broke and can't afford CrossFit classes to become a great athlete? This was the most popular question on our channel. It got voted up and I didn't really know how to answer it at first because my initial impression is like, well, there's free resources everywhere. Like you can, you can get resources on weightlifting, on gymnastics, on powerlifting, on gymnastics, and you can go through all of that. But to me, the bigger problem, the underlying issue with a question like that is that money in this case is being used as an excuse as to why you can't improve. And that in and of itself is a mentality that will prevent you from being a great athlete. Every great athlete has something that's wrong with them. They're too short, too small, improper limb length, don't have the lifestyle to support it, don't have the job that they want to be able to support it, all sorts of financial pressures, where you came from, don't have the coach, and every single one of those can act as an excuse or it can act as an obstacle for you to figure out how to navigate to continue getting yourself better as an athlete. So in your case, if money's an issue, you need to figure out how to be resourceful in a way that allows you to just get better. Because if you're not at a great athlete level, then whatever you're doing has to take you in the direction of progress towards being better as an athlete. And if you don't have the resources to hire a coach or have the best equipment, then you need to figure out, well, what can I do without resources? Can I work on upgrading my nutrition? Can I work on upgrading my running technique? Can I work on figuring out some sort of a work relationship where I go and clean a gym and get free coaching? Can I go and ask a CrossFit gym to just watch and be able to figure out who's better and why are they better, how do they think, go out to dinner with people and figure out ways to integrate yourself into a culture that makes you better and doesn't really matter whether or not you have the resources and the money to optimize things right now. It just you just have to figure out a way to get better. Whatever that means to you, just figure out a way to get better. And if money's the constraint that you have to work around, then figure a workaround, because that's the thing that's going to create an elite performer. It's that relentless mind state that's constantly pursuing being their best self, regardless of what's happening in life. So you can find resources out there to improve yourself with, without the money that you need while calling yourself broke. You can find those resources out there but the truth is I think you might need a perspective shift about what the type of people are like that are great athletes. They're relentless, they're driven, and they never back down from a challenge. So in your case, your challenge is money, and what you want to accomplish is progress. Figure out a way to progress in spite of not having money, and then allow the money thing to be something else you work on in your life. When I created Training Think Tank, I wanted it to be just that, a think tank, a group of people that gets together and challenges each other's ideas on training. So what you watch in this video is one coach's beliefs. The other coaches and myself may or may not agree with what was said, but we're okay with that because we wanna facilitate a discussion about training in the market.